The fourth annual North Lawndale Arts Festival featured a variety of music and celebration of the arts. But with all the efforts from the School of Arts Institute and other organizations involved, some artists still felt that the community has a long way to go. SAIC has implemented programs since its residency inside Homan Square in February 2016 with hopes of bridging the gap between the school, artists, and the North Lawndale community. Artist Heyman Cross III started instructing before SAIC was located in Homan Square and says the school is committed to improving their civic engagement efforts. I've seen them be available to move uh, you know, out into the community and develop you know, better, I guess, techniques and processes of engaging um, our community. Cross III says engaging the community can be a challenge for the school and artists because they can lose touch. But one University of Illinois at Chicago student thinks SAIC can do more to provide resources and reach out. Ash started doing programs through SAIC when she was in high school. Now as a college student, she says there is always room for improvement. SAC is an institution. They have all this power, and if, if people aren't going to challenge them, then they are going to still feel like they have the power to do certain things when really they need to be careful, they need to be thoughtful in what they're doing. The event was held at Douglas Park Field House, which was part of a plan in the late 80s to redevelop the North Lawndale neighborhood after the Sears Tower shut down and relocated to downtown. Despite the challenges North Lawndale is facing after Sears relocated to downtown, Cross III says the best part about teaching in the neighborhood is making a difference. You can never have enough outlets to explore creativity, what it means, what it looks like, how it develops. Um, and, you know, we want our communities to change and to be better, but we have to make it better.